In this tutorial, we take a look at using the Magical Skin Tone script in the Beauty Retouch panel to color correct local color skin issues. And there are two main issues that are standing out to me in this image. The first is this greeny yellow neck area here. And the second is this blue gray nose area here. And I'm going to adjust these areas in two different ways, both using the Magical Skin Tone script. So first, I'm just going to run the script. And then I'm going to make a quick selection of this greeny yellow area here using the magnetic lasso tool. So I'm just going to run this along the edges of the area I'm selecting and close that off. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to feather this. So select modify feather and let's do that by two pixels. And I'm just going to get a large soft white brush and I'm going to brush this effect in. Great, so let's just deselect that. And now the all skin tones are different and you will have to adjust the skin tone um, to match your individual image. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm just going to open this group up. And as you can see, there's a couple of layers that affect the midtones and highlights. And there's a couple of layers that affect the shadows. And you'll see the masks that are connected to those layers are limiting them to the areas they're meant to affect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the midtones and highlights. And I'm going to double click on this color block here and open up color picker. And if I move this hue slider down or up, it'll change the hue of that area that's been selected. And I think I want to take it maybe to around about there. And then now if I move this little circle to the left or right, it will desaturate or saturate that color more. So moving it to the left will desaturate it and moving it to the right, if you can see there, will saturate it. And I want to desaturate it. So I'm going to take it to the left to the about there. And I think looking at that, I want to take that hue, slide it down a bit to about there. And I'm going to press OK on that. And then I'm going to go to the shadows and I'm going to do the same. Now this is mostly if you look at the area, mid-tone area, so we don't have to adjust the shadows too much, but I will take the hue down slightly and adjust the saturation as well. And I'm going to press OK on that. And then if we close this group and take a look at the effect it's having, you can see it's quite a big effect. And this area is slightly larger than what I would usually correct with this script, but because it has such a visible effect, it's a great area to use to demonstrate how the script works. So let's just label this green neck. And then I'm going to run the script again for that nose area. So let's press the, the magical skin tone button. And I'm going to get a white brush and just brush this into the nose area, including that blue shadow there. Great. And we're going to adjust the skin tone again to match our specific image. So I'm going to open the group. And I'm going to adjust the midtones and highlights again, except this time, instead of starting off with changing the hue and the saturation, I'm going to get the eyedropper tool, which you can see has showed up here. And I'm going to choose a color from within my image. So I'm going to color pick around here and let's see about what color works best. So I think that is a good starting point and I'm going to saturate that up from there to about maybe a bit less than that there. I'm going to press OK on that. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to adjust the color of the shadows as well. And I'm going to again click on an area that I think would work. And I'm going to saturate that further. You do have to be careful with shadows that if they are desaturated in the original image, and you up the saturation in that area too much, it can start looking fake and wrong to the human eye. So what you need to do is try and keep the saturation fairly similar to how it was in the beginning. But I think that this is working and I'm just going to turn that on and off to take a look. 
and I think that's doing a good job. So let's label this nose. And then let's turn both on and off to just see the overall effect that's having. And as you can see, it's quite substantial. So with these two different areas adjusted in two different ways, you can see that you can quickly and easily fix issues on any skin tone using the Magical Skin Tone script and adjusting the color layers within to get the desired result. Remember that this script is intended for local color corrections and should not be used on the entire face, for instance. Also, keep in mind that depending on how an image is shot, the shadows are often desaturated and you shouldn't warm them up too much. If you have a couple of issue areas that require different color corrections, then feel free to run this script a couple of times and adjust the colors of each area independently.